What's going on guys, Ness here. And today, I'm gonna be building a Raspberry Pi Switch. I've seen a couple builds out there, and I decided to give making my own a try. Now, what makes it a Switch is the fact that it could be played in three different game modes. It could be played in handheld mode, tabletop mode, and external display mode. So let's go over what I used for this project. First, we got the Raspberry Pi itself. a 3.5 inch display a USB power bank one of these two-way HDMI connectors something to just keep the Pi in. I use the back of a Raspberry Pi case but you could pretty much use anything and a PlayStation 3 controller with a game clip mounting device. Now what I'm not going to be showing in this video is how to set up your Raspberry Pi. So if you're completely new to the Raspberry Pi RetroPie community, I'll put a link to a really good tutorial in the description below. So once you have your micro SD card all set up with RetroPie, you're going to take the 3.5 inch display and plug it into the Raspberry Pi via the GPIO pins and then link them both together with this HDMI connector. And then I'm gonna place the whole build inside this back piece for a Raspberry Pi case. You may or may not need this depending on what kind of build you're making, but I'm mounting it to the PS3 controller using Velcro, so this back piece is needed. Once that's all done, it's that simple. This build is pretty much complete. Everything else you're just connecting with USB ports. If you don't like having loose cords dangling around, you can tie them up with maybe some zip ties or something. Or if you're using a Raspberry Pi 3, there is a Bluetooth option. But for this build, I'm going wired using a PS3 controller. I actually thought about using a larger screen, but for this particular build, it was very uncomfortable. But as you can see in handheld mode, the 3.5 inch display was more than enough. Once detached from the controller, it's still perfectly playable in tabletop mode. And whenever you want, you just disconnect the two-way HDMI plug in a regular HDMI cable and then connect it to an external display.
And there you have it. That's my Raspberry Pi Switch. If you guys are interested in undertaking a project similar to this, I'll put links to everything that I used in the description below. The Raspberry Pi is a perfect option for emulation. If you don't mind tinkering around a little bit to get it working the way you want. It's very rewarding and very worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.